So, everybody has been kind of singing your praises as like the, the fight master. Yeah, what, what do you mean? Uh, like, have they put you through like more intense training this time? Um, you have lots of good I mean, I, I trained for years before I ever started acting. So it's not like I got on the show and I was like, well, I better learn to fight. I, I Since I was seven, I've been like flipping around and doing all this stuff. And it, it's in my blood. It's part of who I am. Um, but I'm not like a super legit martial artist. I, I was a dancer and then I started getting into martial arts. Now, and I started dabbling, getting more serious about it. And now I'm like, I want to really like I want to learn everything uh, all the weapons all the like self defense and the, you know tactical like gun training and so hopefully if I have time I, I work all the time but so it's hard to make time for even a stunt rehearsal but um, I think so far our stunts and everything has been elevated like it's way better and getting to do wire work and it should be cool and hopefully I'll get to do more of that I mean, I saw the um, video, I think you tweeted or Instagrammed a video the other week of you doing, like, flips or something. Like, that was amazing. Like, what, you know, what kind of feedback are you getting from everybody on, and how do you, you know, how do, do you incorporate that into the action work on the show? Yeah, some of it. Um, I know people are like, wow, you must have been really training. And I'm like, no, that's just like leftover. But like, I used to be way better at doing that stuff. That's like the leftover stuff that I can kind of still do. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That very much was a part of movement and all those things was my, I didn't start acting until I was 21. So like, but I guess not a lot of people know about that uh, other side. <laughs> yeah. What else? journey is she on this season? As a character, in person. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> I think dealing with being captain and being in charge, it's like she kind of just was pushed into it and it was like, just go. And now once you have a little bit of time to reflect on it and what your choices are and how it's affecting everyone else. And I don't write the show, but I would imagine for her kind of guilt uh, and, and taking on more responsibility than she needs to has always been something for her. And I think now that might be a problem with taking on everyone else's and if they get hurt or if this problem happens to them, then you know she, she's going to take all of that on. And it, is she going to be able to release that to be able to continue to lead or is it going to just be too much? Because in the past, that's, she shuts down. Like she gets in her own way of like her, whatever it's self-hatred or self, you know, these, these feelings. And hopefully that doesn't stop her from doing those things. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, um, what aspects of Sarah's character have, have changed since uh, she's stepped into this leadership role? Um, I don't know. In the, the episodes that we've shot thus far, I think it's... She was more of one of the legends, where it's like, yeah, let's go, whatever, and like, get in trouble, and now all of a sudden it's like, you gotta be the, the mom, you gotta be in charge, and it's, and it kind of sucks, you know, because if everyone's like, you know, if everyone here is like, yeah, like, let's do shots, and like, you're the one who has to be in charge, you don't get to be like, yeah, and, like, you have to be like, no, like, we have to finish this, we have to do this, and it's like, ugh, it's like, wet blanket. Does she rebel against the leadership role at, at any time? Or you, do you think she would? Yeah. I mean, I could see it, yeah. Because not wanting to... She's just so hard on herself so that if she thinks that what she's doing isn't good enough or hurting somebody else, I can see her being like, you're better off without me. But I don't know what they're doing right now. <laughs> said this is going to be funny over there, but are you part of a comedy and how do you like to enjoy exercising your comedy jobs? It's weird for me because I've never been like a comedian. I'm like very much of a drama actor. I like dark 
and that's who Sarah was on Arrow like when I started and now all of a sudden I find myself and I'm like I'm in a comedy <laughs> alright like how do we do this um, but it's been fun and it's one of my favorite things about the show it's what makes the show really work and make it special because it doesn't take itself so seriously and it's finding that fine line of being a straight man and also bringing your own comedy to it and uh, it, it's a different beast for me so that, that part of it is very uh, challenging and fun. Thank you so much.